Hello and welcome to a brand new YouTube channel uh, with me, your host, KJM Gaming. Um, and welcome to Football Manager 2022. Uh, I've decided to start a YouTube channel. It's something I've wanted to do for a little while. Unfortunately, the internet where I live hasn't been the greatest. Uh, and that's something that's recently changed. So here I am. Um, hoping to make a good start. Uh, starting off with some football manager a little bit about the channel uh, I will be doing various other games um, over the months and years to come uh, but I decided to start off with some football manager um, also a few things to note uh, the equipment I'm using isn't the greatest my laptop's a little bit of a potato uh, I'm also using a gaming headset off my Xbox um, so until I sort of get myself up and running uh, this is the sort of equipment that we're going to have to be using. Um, the name KGM Gaming. Uh, KGM is the initials of my three children. Um, I, myself, my name is Dean. Uh, late 30s, married, kids. You know, just YouTube. Just something I've always wanted to do in my spare time. Um, I've watched a lot of football manager videos over the years from people like Work the Space, uh, Lelujo, Dr. Benji, Zealand, uh, and it's something I've always wanted to get into myself. Um, so a little bit about the game that we're going to be playing today, Football Manager 2022. Um, I've been looking, obviously like I said, I've watched a lot of the other YouTube football managers. Uh, there's not really something new that I'm going to do on Football Manager. Uh, there's not really a lot of new things to do uh, but what I am going to be doing is something new to me uh, every time I play football manager I've always managed in England obviously because that's where I'm from uh, but today using a pack that's available on FM Scout uh, by I believe it's by Dave we are going to be removing all of these leagues we're going to be adding San Marino uh, we'll put, we'll take Ireland off, England, we're going to take England off. We're going to put Italy on there though, with it being a neighbouring nation to San Marino. Obviously help us get some players in through the door. We're also going to go Serie C and above. Um, see if we can actually get any players. Uh, start date, that's absolutely fine. Prevent the use of in-game ed editor, so there'll be no editing going on. And we're also going to be using attribute masking. Uh, just to make things that a little bit harder for ourselves. So we'll go ahead and click start game. Take a couple of minutes for it to load up uh, and I'll just keep um, talking a little while. So goals of the channel. Uh, as I said, I just want to, you know, do things at my own pace. Um, see how far I can actually make the channel grow. A little ambitious to start with, uh, doing a full, full on save like this. Um, one, the sort of inspiration for this save game came from something that Work the Space uh, Jack did on Football Manager 2016, where he's uh, actually done uh, a Gibraltar League, um, where he took uh, a team from Gibraltar to the Champions League winners. Um, something I'm going to try and mirror with San Marino. I have, had, have done a little bit of research into it. Um, obviously, Jack also did the Gibraltar national team. When he did it, uh, one of the things he was able to do was bring players in from abroad, let them gain Gibraltarian nationality uh, and use them in the national team. Things are a little bit different in San Marino. Um, dual nationality is not on. It's not acceptable. Um, it also takes 20 years in this particular mod pack to gain nationality. So all of the players for the national team are going to have to actually be San Marino born. Um, Obviously makes things a little bit harder for in terms of the national team. Uh, but it does put the emphasis on us developing the youth system. Now it's going to take a few years. The game itself is going to be difficult to start with. It's going to take a few years to get things up and running. So if we change to San Marino. There's, there is only one league in San Marino. Uh, but one thing I do like to do in Football Manager. Is I like to pick the worst possible team in the league. So if we go to the San Marino league here. We'll go to season preview. We can see here we've got Cosmos down the bottom at 1,001 to 1 to win the league. The next 
team, 451. So Cosmos are a long way behind. Um, so we are going to take control of Cosmos. This is going to be our squad, semi-professional. Nickname, I've got no idea. I don't speak Italian. Giallo Verdi. Yep. Stadium is Cerevelli B. 500 capacity. It's not very good. We've got basic training facilities. Poor youth academy. No continental competition, as I said. Now, this is the first time I've ever managed outside of England, like I say. We have got some history here. You can see that they were the champions in 2000-2001. Uh, it's sort of been a bit downward, up and down since then. Um, but yeah, I've never managed outside of England. I've got no idea what to expect. I don't even know how the league works in San Marino. Um, but we'll find out. Uh, so here we go. Cosmos have today confirmed the appointment of Dean Talentire as the club's new manager. Uh, we'll just skip that. You can see the media rep the prediction here is ninth. Um, obviously, we saw in the odds that it's not actually ninth. Uh, year founded in 1979. You can see there we do have a few trophies as well. Uh, but we'll just keep going. This is the squad that we've been given. Signed players for the age of 23 for the first team. Uh, obviously, big focus on use. Work within the age budget. Just want us to be competitive, which is, you know, uh, schedule a meeting. No. We don't like talking to the press. And we'll do this every month because it gets a little bit annoying after a little while. And I've done a industry squad friendly there, which I didn't want to do either. So, getting into the game, we're just going to have a look around the club. See, we've got a lot of players in the last year of the contracts. Tactical direction. Um, I'll just quickly skip through this. This is obviously something that I will do off camera. We'll just select that for now. Um, we'll have a look at the squad and see what we're going to do. I'll probably end up picking a tactic that's totally not suitable for this level of football. Um, you can see here we've got some squad sele selection rules. No more than nine foreign players in the starting eleven. So that means we have to have some San Marino players in the squad, uh, which hopefully is something that we're going to do over time. Um, try and build the reputation of the league. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the league here. You can see... Wow, we've, uh, what are all these? Let's have a look at the rules and see what happens. Okay, so we have a, we have the main league here. Uh, you can see that the top four go into the quarter final. I'm assuming it's a playoff system at the end of the league. So what's this? Champions playoff, playoff specific rules. Um, okay, this might be a, a learn as you go sort of thing. It's a playoff quarter final. I'm assuming this is where the top four teams go. They go straight into this and this one is where the other where how many is that? Eight teams go. The other eight teams go into the first playoff to leave us with eight teams for the quarter final. Obviously semi final. Third place playoff. And then the playoff final. Uh, so obviously winning the league, not all important. Um, we'll just have a look and see at some past winners. You can see that the La Fiorita seem to be the most successful club along with Trey Fiore in recent terms. Um, but it does spread the league around a bit. Uh, you can see there Cosmos in 2000, 2001. Um, other rules in the main league. You can see here we've got... Uh, standard three points for win, seven subs named, three used. Uh, suspensions all the same. Obviously, this is a mod pack, it's not actually in the game. It's by, I, I believe, Dave. Uh, you can find it on the FM Scout website. Um, he does a very good job of mod packs. It's actually quite a large one, it's got a lot of different leagues in it from all over the world, uh, and he spends a lot of time on it. Uh, maximum four players allowed on loan, two transfer windows, June to September, and then January to enter January there. Um, have a quick glance over over the squad here. You can see we've got, how many players have we got here? We have got 17, a squad of 17. Varying abilities. Goalkeeper position seems to be a little bit of a, a problem here. Uh, obviously we'll have to have a look and see what kind of players are available. Um, club info. You can see we've got we're extremely poor. General, fairly professional squad, which is good. 
some professional status obviously over the years we'll be trying to aim for some professional status uh, so we can start improving things improve the league affiliated clubs we've got no affiliates um, league rep 172nd in the world so uh, obviously we'll be hoping to improve that uh, a hell of a lot club vision we've gone over already just be competitive which is you know fair enough finances fifty eight thousand pound in the bank you can see we've had a hundred thousand pound injected i'm assuming that's again something to do with the mod pack wage budget 20 pound a week not very good that not very good at all we're currently spending 18 pounds so we've got to build a squad for two pound a week awesome uh no debts which is good sponsors are paying us a pound a season one pound a season one pound a season i spend more than that on my lunch at work uh, projection you can see we're going to make heavy loss and then go back up again um anyway as i said i'm going to have a look over some tactics i'm going to arrange some friendlies stuff like that uh, and i will be back with you when we get into our first league match of the season uh, which as you can see is against Fiorentino on the 19th of September so in around two weeks time right guys welcome back um, been through there created a couple of tactics um, as I said I've paid no attention uh, to the club <laughs> to what tactic would fit best for the club uh, which what, what I'm assuming is such poor quality especially looking through the, uh, the squad here you can see not very good players um, you know we sort them by ability here you can see that I've got no idea how to play we'll call him Samuel the young Albanian there probably our best player um, as a gonna say a deep line playmaker which I'll, I'll go over the tactics with you in a moment you can see he's got excellent first touch excellent passion uh, passing pretty good vision decisions composure would make an absolutely brilliant deep line playmaker I think for this level uh, just have a look at his contract it doesn't cost us anything so hopefully we can make a few more signings like him if we have a look at the tactics here um, as I said will not fit this league whatsoever uh, or this team I'm assuming by the quality goalkeeper here is a real problem for us you can also see at left full back we're not very good uh, we're not very good as a wing back Oh, you can see we've gone for two wing backs on support um, obviously if we have a look at in possession here we've got overlap left overlap right uh, which using inside forwards hopefully these two will come inside and that leaves space for the wing backs to bomb on there uh, we're playing a central defender we're also going to go with a ball playing central defender uh, now we've asked our assistant to pick the best possible 11 uh, to go with the system and he's picked this guy at the ball playing defender who can't pass the ball can't see anything um, you know not very good not too bad at tackling and marking uh, not too bad at, as a defender but as a ball playing defender absolutely not um, can't see a thing our other centre back not much better three passing again blind as a bat um, this one is Samaranese though so he does fit the uh, the quota for uh, being able to play in the league um, if we have a look here you can see here that we're using Lelujo's squad view um, which I, I've also got work with spaces on there I'll just change it to my own um, you can see here in terms of nationalities across across the squad we've got quite a few Santa Maria's players and uh, we've got one two three four five five in the starting lineup a few Italians and a few Albanians as well which I'm quite surprised that this is another young Albanian Raul Ura um, doesn't look too bad uh, if we look at the position he's been picked at to play in the squad it's as a shadow striker or support striker uh, it's shadow striker I always say support for some reason um, not too bad could be better concentration is poor stamina is poor uh, balance again you know after 10 minutes you push him you'll fall over that kind of player work rate again poor spends half the game walking um, so he's listed as a star player but you know we'll see about that but again costing us absolutely nothing um, 
if we just go and have a look in the league and at the league preview here, you can see we still haven't looked at any signings or anything like that. Um, but if we look through the key players here, you can see we're right down the bottom where we get our two Albanians there. Um, so they could be of use. Uh, we've also got a secondary tactic which just drops the shadow striker into a deep line playmaker support role. Uh, Mazala at this level, you know, not going to work, but apparently his role ability is four and a half stars for it. So we'll see. Uh, but this is going to be the main tactic. Uh, I've also set up some set pieces. You can see here we've got corners, uh, classic football manager, corner routine. Um, you know, opposite foot, left footer on this side, in swinger into the tall centre back with his good jumping reach. Heading's not the best, but you know, it's it's kind of a broken thing in football manager. It always has been. Uh, same with throw-ins. Again, we've gone long to the centre back there. You know, again, another thing uh, which is extremely broken. Saying that though, we don't actually have anybody who can throw a ball, so that one's not going to be too effective for us. Uh, now, I can't cancel this friendly that I accidentally left in, so we are going to end up playing our second 11. Um, obviously, with it being a friendly, I'm just going to instant result it. Uh, the skin I'm using does allow for instant results. Uh, I've also arranged a friendly against Juvenes Dog, Dog, Dogana, I believe it's pronounced, which if you have a look in the league, is the next team above us. Um, I'm going to use the this friendly here to assess the squad. Um, see what kind of signs I need to make. I'm going to also set up a scouting thing. I'm going to go through some training. Uh, go through all that. I'll come back after this game. Um, make a few signings. And we'll go from there. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see here, played a couple of friendlies. Not very encouraging, if I'm entirely honest. Uh, you can see here against our second team, we got a one-all draw. Uh, we'll just go into the game. Have a look at the stats. Stats-wise, fairly well. 14 shots, 8 on target. Um, you know, pass completed, 87%. Possession, 50-50. Uh, Donati there with the goal from right inside forward. Um, a few poor performances here. Uh, you know, a couple of things to improve on. Next game against Juvenes Dugana. Uh, nil nil there. Um, again, not very encouraging from the strikers. You can see we had a lot of shots again, nine on target. Um, decent XG, just couldn't get the ball in the net. They had a goal disallowed in the 14th minute. Again, a few good performances, uh, a few bad performances as well, especially at centre back. That's a bit concerning. Um, we have made a couple of signings though. Um, the transfer window came round extremely quickly i wasn't actually actually expecting it uh, this guy was already signed to the club before i started uh, first one here though is Chris, christian apagnuccio who is a goalkeeper goalkeeper was a position um, which we were quite poor at we have a look at his current ability here according to our assistant manager um read into that what you will the assistant manager is not very good uh, but if we compare him to the other goalkeepers who were at the who were in the first team when we first joined, which was Mori, uh, you can see here big improvement on Mori again. The star rating two silver stars there to four gold stars again. Not really paying attention to the star ratings going off our uh, assistant managers. We have a look at uh, Pagnuccio's contract though, six pound appearance fee. And one pound clean sheet bonus so it's potential to cost us seven pound a week um which as we if we go into the wage budget you can see it's gone it's gone already um you know brought a couple of players in wage budget's gone 57 pound loss this month you know not massive amounts but i'm over the wage budget uh anyway next player next couple of players were just some backup players which i sort of i brought them in on trial and then it came up saying that the transfer window was closing and i was like Oh, I've got to sign some players, just so we've got a bit of cover. First one is a left back. Um, I believe we're training him to... No, we are training this one as a left back. He's not very good. He's got good determination, though. At 33 years old, he could be good for a mentoring unit help with some of the uh, younger players. Just as he's brought, been brought in as a backup. You can see here, emergency backup. 
and he's costing us nothing, which is good. Um, so you know, he's more here as, a, like it says, an emergency backup and a bit of a mentor to our other players. Uh, Finally, the last player is another left back. Uh, we are training this one to be a ball playing defender here, though. If we have a look at his attributes and we uh, ball playing defender on defend, he's not too bad. Again, he's another one who's a little bit older than the squad. Good determination. Pace isn't that bad. But this one can sort of pass, you know, compared to the other defenders in our team. He's the best. He's also a summer runnies, so. That helps fill the quota of the summaries uh, players in the squad. Have a look at our first squad here. Um, in terms of going forward with this save, um, I'm going to cut this episode short. I believe it's gone on a little bit too long already. This was just supposed to be a sort of welcome to the channel. Um, this is me. This is what I'm about. This is the save I'm going to be going for. Ambitious for a first ever YouTube venture into YouTube. Um, but you know, I, that's what I like. I like the challenge and I want to sort of help the channel grow. Um, big shout out to the other YouTubers who obviously I've mentioned work the space, Lelujo, Dr. Benji, Zealand. Uh, there's also Tom FC. He does a couple of good videos. Um, big inspiration for me to want to do this. Um, I've watched you work for the space or Jack for, for several years now. Um, I've enjoyed his park to prem playlists uh, I actually played along with one on Football Manager 2022 um, obviously I was a different team to Jack but the same result took them from tier 10 in England uh, to the Premier League title something I do want to do on the channel as well um, I've been thinking about it and one thing that I'm actually struggling for is a name for it I can't really say Park to Prem because that's that's work the spaces thing there's non-league to legend which is what uh, what Lelujo uses um, or Kev you know it's what he uses so you know, I'm trying to think of a name for this San Marino one I might call it Minnows to Minnows to Giants or something like that I'm, I'm not a very creative person uh, you know I don't I don't my youngest son's called Max I tell creative I am it's three letters you know <laughs> um, but anyway um, thank you thank you for watching um, I hope to see you, some of you again. If anybody's got any feedback for me, please feel free to comment. Uh, I will answer as many comments as possible. Um, but if you have enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see more, then please obviously leave me a like on the video. Um, help me get started. Uh, and I will be back for the next episode for the first game of the season, which I will live com uh, against Fiorentino. So um, hopefully I'll see you all then. Thanks for now. Thanks for watching. Um, as I said, please smash that like button, help me out as many as much as you can, and I'll see you guys next time.